Let's finally go up here. My god, seems like seems like it was like an hour and a half ago when I first discovered this. Thank you. Good lord. All right. Another uh red arrow. We good. We good. Why don't you search for some batteries? Could you use some? Starting to get a little dried up here. Can't open it. Oh, look, we need to turn the power off. Right, yeah. Ah, can't go in there either. All right, so we need, we need to go back to the power room. Ugh, jeez. All right, here we go. Excuse me. Nobody has ever made this far, Joel. That's really sad. It's not that difficult. Thank you. Stop closing doors in my face. It's just impolite. Inconsiderate. All right, now, let's see. Let's turn the power off there. Let's turn it on there. Why not? Yeah, sounds good. We actually could probably turn the power off there as well. I think we'll be okay. All right, we'll just do it like this. Very dark right now. Sorry, guys. I know it's dark. I went the wrong way again. There we go. I got batteries, but why not use them? Music has changed. I would be spooked, but it doesn't seem like there's an actual enemy, so... Judging from the style of the game and everything, it doesn't seem like there's any actual danger. Okay, good. Oh, hi. There is some fucked up being here. A child or something. It keeps following me, scuttling along the floor. Freaky ass thing. I saw him again. It's the janitor. It has to be. I've been forced to come upstairs. I'm in the dorms, hiding in a wardrobe. I have my gas mask on. There's some real bad toxic waste up here. He is here. How does he know where I am? Can you imagine him frantically scribbling this while hiding from the janitor? He's calling out my name, WTF. Why am I even still writing in my book? I was just about to ask. He is opening the wardrobes. I'm making a run for it. Well, good. Is this you or is this the janitor? Pick up gas mask. Oh, what's up? Am I zoomed in? No, it's not, it's not open anymore. Oh, here it is. What? I thought I had the gas mask. What just happened? What just happened? No, you sent me all the way back! No! I had the gas mask! Okay, find new filter. They have you, they want you to believe, save yourself. What? Hey! You're the guy who was singing against the wall. Who's dragging me then? Where am I? Oh, oh, he's gone. Oh. Okay. Mm, can't go over there. There's gas. We could probably we could probably fix that. No, can't go into the cafeteria yet. Boop. Hi. Open up. Let me search your drawers. Okay. Some pink stuff behind there. Open up. Open up. Hmm. I'm writing to inform you that Sam's behavior has not improved over these last few weeks. He has been involved in various incidents of disgusting comportments with his friends, Brian and Chris. Last Friday, Sam and Chris decided it would be funny to prank the janitor by locking him in a room with another student was both uh, Chris and the janitor were in the storeroom. So the other student is the pet. Sam locked the door with stolen keys and then proceeded to sneak into the security room. He used the school tannoy to announce that the janitor had locked himself and Chris in together while inappropriately touching him. This was later investigated and discovered this was definitely not the case. Yet again, this continuous harassment will not be tolerated and therefore give me no choice but to give both students three days of temporary suspension. 
Is there anything in this room that is important? Chris, it's a go! Sam has got the keys to the uh, storeroom. You are to lead him in. Ask him to get you a replacement pencil sharpener or a new paint or something. Just get him in there. Sam will do the rest. P.S. Destroy the note this time. Unlike with the other one, you dumb fuck. Brian. Wow, Brian. Getting a little... Getting a little mean there. You dumb fuck. What does this say? Okay, so nothing really in here for us. Good. Perfect. Alright, we'll go into the other area then. Squeeze me. Dude, these guys are freaking dead. What was that? Huh. What are we looking for? Anything? There's nothing here. Turn that shit off, thank you. Batteries acquired. What sort of weird tune was that, anyway? Alright, looking around for my friends, can't find them. Oh, see some eyes. Hi there. Hey, where'd you go? Come on, man. Janitor closet, let's play a game. The card is key for your friends to be free. Feeling light in the head? It may be time for bed. Okay, that makes sense. So, need key cards under a bed somewhere. Time is ticking, but are they still kicking? I feel it's time for a treat, so go and get something to eat. What? Bed. Eat. Those are my clues. Bed and eat. I guess they meant the cafeteria? By eat? Oh, it's like a note scavenger hunt. That's kind of neat. Alright, cafeteria. That's the janitor closet. Yeah, okay, the previous note was removed. Where's the cafeteria? I think it's... Uh, it's back this way, I think. Uh... No, it's... This way. Damn it. Food hall, here we go. Aha! It's a uh, it's all a test in which you could be the best. This one is hidden in the blank for you to grab. Test, best, grab, lab, lab for you to grab. We were in there earlier. Come on. Lab, 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 lab. Lab, 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 lab. Here we are in the lab. Um, I'm here in the lab. I don't see a note. Ah, open safe. Found store key card. It's time, Joel. Out, out. But I won the game. Let me out. Ha <laughs> ha. He didn't lock the door. Okay. Time to open this one down here. Follow the red cross to save yourself. Follow the red arrows to save your friends. Oh, so there's two different endings? Uh, let's save our friends. Uh, is this what you're looking for? Music soothes the mind, tick tock. What is this? Help. What? What happened? Okie doke. What? 
Now I'm here. I don't have my flashlight anymore. Good thing this is well lit. Saving. Okay. They think I'm dead. Everyone thinks I'm dead. We tried to warn people that he was sick. He was sneaky. Always one step ahead of us. We had to try and set him up, but that was the final straw. He flipped. Chris found a secret passage. We kept it to ourselves for a while. Then we went to investigate, but he knew we were coming. He killed them in front of me. Left them to rot in the laundry room. Vile, cruel scum. He's kept me here for months. He waits until I'm so hungry, then feeds me human flesh. Always bringing new bodies down. I can't take it anymore! Brian Drillage. Hmm. So Brian was the pet, you say. Another one. M. Robinson, Sector 1, Security Team. Subject, Joel Dent. Joel Dent will be arriving on the west side of the recon location in the next couple of days. Prior word will be sent direct to your smart meter when confirmation is made. Please make sure all appropriate systems are arranged for his arrival. Ask for further details if required, but we have high hopes for this individual. You need to test his resolve and see how strong his heart is and how stable his mind is. You will continue to have Leo Ware's protection and, of course, your monthly delivery. What? So this was all a test for me? Really? What a shitty test. So... Okay. Am I just stuck here now? Um... Okay... Bloody trash bag... What? This doesn't open... Um... Really annoyed that all my stuff was taken away from me. One of these is on, I think. Ooh. I jumped up here, can I? Ooh. Wait. Can I turn one of these off? Yeah, no, I found it, thanks. I think I jumped up on there on, on accident. Okay, really confused. I found those two notes. Do I go up there? What? He never lets you leave? I can't see. Okay. Hello? Some disturbing sounds. Uh... Was that like a resurrection stone? Was he rolling? What is going on? This is frustrating. I can still walk around. I don't have my flashlight. By the way. What? Hi. What? What happened there? I am really confused by that. Is there, is there a source of light that I need to get in here? Are you serious? What'd that do? 
What was all that stuff in there for? What was all that stuff that happened in there for? I don't understand. I thought I was in like a cutscene. What? This seems like a final elevator type of thing. Interrogation, security, training workshop, combat zone, shooting range, ward, new technology station. So this is like... So that was a whole like testing environment, like subjecting me to a fictional horrific situation as like some sort of simulation to test me for some sort of secret government job? Is that the idea? Leoware. Level one. This is a entirely different game. You can think of a lot of movies that kind of took this twist. Wasn't the island kind of like this? I can't remember. All right. This is really gross. This is really... I don't think I needed to hear all that. What is happening? Can I pull the fire alarm? What is going on? I mean, am I supposed to do something in this room? Like... Look at these servers and supercomputers and whatever the fuck else. I don't think I needed to hear the dude shitting. Whose phone is this? Read the text messages! What did I do?! What did I do? What did I press? Oh, I'm starting to get really frustrated. <laughs> Ah, what did I do? Hi, you weird hologram paper shredder thing. What? I pressed something. See, look, recruitment. All five individuals have been monitored for a total of five years by the covert reconnaissance team. The individuals have been observed for outstanding attributes. Each candidate has shown undeniable, undeniable, that's not even a word, undeniable valor. Perceptual strength, resilience, and combat prowess, and high-level leadership. It is pivotal that the person who is recruited has undeniable loyalty, which we did because we went and got our friends. Each candidate has family that can be used as leverage to ensure full discretion of Leoware. Wow. So we got Frederick Johnson. All right, that makes sense. Joel Dent. Okay. So look, so they, they weeded people out. There was Frederick Johnson, Chev Istrov, Gabriel Durant, Malte Fournier, and then me. Malte Fournier failed. My test is due. All right. Oh my God, I have no idea what I'm doing. How do I leave? I know I can leave now, right? Can I go through this now? Can I go into the bathroom or just... There was somebody pooping in there. Oh my god. What was with the pooping? I feel like that... It was just like... Was that an Easter egg? What was that? So now they're done? Who what? Who are they? Leave me alone, dude.
I can't move. Red! Red means scary! Something scary is about to happen. I'm frozen in place. Level 8, Social Cognitive Neuroscience. Patient, Joel Dent, status induced coma, currently in a stable condition. Are they just studying my brain now? Did I fail? Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, I get it. The doctor just left his stethoscope here. Is this like a is this like a locked in syndrome type of thing where I'm aware but I can't communicate? I mean I can move my head around, so I guess not. Alrighty. What to do? Can hear some voices. What? This is dragging on for quite some time, I think. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. That's it. All right. Um... I was left alone, everybody. Uh, got really frustrating for me towards the end. I think if there were, um, I just, I just can't get past that part where after I got like knocked out and put in the washroom and then I walked towards all those dead bodies with the light and everything and then it turned out and I didn't have my flashlight. I thought it was just a cutscene like that at the end. Where it was just black screen, you were just hearing stuff? I don't know, that really, really frustrated me. And then, like, that whole thing towards the end, I didn't understand. Like, I tried to activate the elevator, it wouldn't go down. I was hearing, like, shitting in the bathroom. I was like... And then there's this whole, like, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, cabin in the woods thing going on, where it's like, ha ha, it was... Not if it was real. I don't know, it was... It kind of came out of left field, and I mean, I guess interesting twist. Okay, here's the thing about this game. I think 
There were a lot of there were a lot of executional things that were praiseworthy, but again, it, it, a lot of as far as like this game is a horror game, and it, it has a lot of the qualities of games like Layers of Fear, for example, that I absolutely <laughs> do not uh, like in a horror game. Just uh, too many scripted sequences, no actual danger, just a lot of the same criticisms I had of Layers of Fear, except uh, this one wasn't as polished. And the scares weren't as frequent. Uh, there were a couple of, of interesting, like, scripted scares, but they were too far apart. Like, most, like, 90% of my time in this game was probably spent walking or running to, from, like, point A to point B. This wasn't enough to do. There was a lot of note reading. I mean, again, it, it seems well put together for the most part. I think there were some major oversights towards the end in terms of the flow and the pacing. I think I had some severe pacing issues after you get knocked out and pushed, uh, put into the washroom. Because, like, really all you're supposed to do is find that button and then, you know, walk down the hallway. But, uh, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what to do there. And, uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know. Taking away a flashlight in in an area where it's really dark is not a not a player friendly move either, in my opinion. I know it's very popular to make horror games where like you can't see anything, but it is frustrating to play. Uh, overall, I don't know. Um, I think this would have been much stronger as a much shorter experience. It seems that the early stages were a lot. Just a lot more effective overall, and the pacing was a lot better, and it just kind of wore on and on, kind of dragged towards the second half of the school section, I would say. Uh, I think the school was way too big for the amount of content that it held. I'm not trying to, like, tear this game apart, but I, I, it legitimately frustrated me, so I'm trying to get as much constructive feedback out as possible. Uh, you know, again, made by two people for, what would you say, like an hour and a half experience? You know, good on you guys for making a game, but... Um, as far as like a, like a $7 horror game, I, I can't say I recommend it. It's just... I don't know, I've, I, I feel like, I feel like I've played way too many of these, um, horror games where it's like a walking simulator. And I, you know, I know that that term comes with a lot of baggage and it comes with a lot of, like, preconceived notions. But what I mean is, it's just, it's where you just walk through a bunch of scripted sequences and read a bunch of notes. There's just, there's so many games out there like that. And a lot of games do it way better than Left Alone. Um, I'm not sure I 100% understand the story. I think I, I think I get the gist of what LeoWare is all about. Um, I'm not sure I completely understand why he was put into an induced coma at the end. I guess because he failed. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I think that, uh, the last fourth of the game could do some serious polishing. Um, just in terms of the pacing. You know, it just... Let the player keep the flashlight and, like, kind of force them to go the right direction in that last sequence. Because going back up and down the Leoware hallway four or five times, or however many times I did it, was not, not fun. And it did kind of ruin the pacing up to that point. Anyway, alright, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about Left Alone. I guess this will be, like, three videos. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And, uh, thank you guys for telling me about this game and, and... Uh, emailing me about it for sure uh, good luck in your future game development endeavors and I hope that uh, anything that I said at the end was helpful uh, you know I wasn't trying to like rip it apart I just I had some frustrations I had to get out so yeah I'll see you guys later think critically